hi everyone so i'm going to be showing you how to make a poncho or rona or show so this is my my fabric i have about 1 yard and 30 inches 1 yard and 30 inches so it's already folded this is how I it, it came like it's folded so I'm going to fold it again and find the center so I already got my center after getting the center then I'm going to unfold it and then I'm going to have this side facing to me so that I can be able to cut it make sure it's well folded so after opening it up I'm going to go ahead and measure three and a half inches over here then just bring it up three and a half inches three and a half inches then I'll come I'll come here where I had my I'm oh sorry where I had my center where I, me I measured my middle part and then I'm going to go ahead and carve it carve it and join it to the three and a half that I've been marking then go ahead and cut it out all right so after cutting it out i'm going to go ahead and open it up wrap it around me to see if it's the exact measurements that i want should be looking like this after putting it on it's really too wide for me around the shoulders they go all the way it's too big so i'm going to go ahead and cut off some so I, I marked where I want to cut, what I want to cut off, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it. If you use fleece, you really don't have to sew. But since I want to give mine a, like a, a nice look, I'm going to go ahead and use bias staple around it. And then I'm going to put some pockets over here I'm going to use these fabrics that I cut off here and give it some pockets how big it is it's 10 by 10 and a half so the one that is 10 and a half I'm going to go ahead and fold it once then twice and then sew it down remember you should always find the the wrong side and the right side so the right side is the more, more brighter one it's kind of hard to tell on here but so we are going to measure two inches or you can go ahead and pin it down just go about two two to two and a half i mean two and a half to three inches from the bottom that's why you should have your uh, leave like two inches and a half or three inches at the bottom go ahead and pin your pin it down while folding this to the inside so that we can have raw edges inside so fold about one inch in so i went ahead and pinned it down and left this opening so i'm going to go ahead and sew sew and come this way
So here is the pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and sew the mine. What best tape around it? So get into the corners. You really just give them a little curving. Not that much, just a little like this. So. Thank you so much guys for watching if you're new and haven't subscribed please subscribe and those who are just returning subscribers thank you so much please give my video a thumbs up leave comments in the comment sections below see you this is how you can style your your poncho there are very many ways thank you bye bye